Welcome to step two, enter your budgets. This is the second video in a series of seven to help you get started with Calxa. It is important to point out at this stage that there are many options for entering your budgets, including using the Calxa Budget Factory, which is a wizard designed to help you create new budgets for all your business units in one hit, or importing from other sources like Excel, or maybe the existing budgets in your accounting file. Perhaps you already did this in step one. So in this video, we will focus on the edit budget option, which you can use to enter your budgets manually or fine tune existing budgets. Please refer to the additional support material available if you would like to use the Kelksa budget factory or import budgets from Excel. You will note that the creator update budget screen consists of three columns, the business units, financial year and budget version. The business units column displays your business units as they appear in your accounting file, which depending on your accounting package will have different names. Calxa by default uses neutral terminology of projects and departments. Although terminology is configurable in the application configuration. You will need to select the business unit, financial year and budget version you would like to create or edit and then click the Open Budget button. The budget grid will be displayed for the business unit, financial year and budget version you selected previously. There are a number of view options in the ribbon including show or hide account numbers, opening and closing balances and also which accounts to display. We're going to do a P&L budget today so we'll ensure we have profit and loss selected and I'm going to hide opening and closing balances. You can enter values directly into your total or monthly cells. If you enter into the total column, it will spread the values across the 12 months, but it will also keep any pre-existing proportionality or seasonality. I'll demonstrate this now with a really obvious example. I'll do one half of the year less than the other and adjust the total and you can see it adjusts the monthly values proportionally. You can undo and redo any of these operations using the buttons in the ribbon or standard keyboard shortcuts. You can also cut and copy cells, rows or columns of data using the buttons in the ribbon or the standard keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so besides the obvious of entering data directly, Calxa gives users the ability to create budgets quickly and easily using budget shortcuts. Budget shortcuts allow you to do things like base budgets on other values in your organization's accounting data. For example, base them on previous year's actual data, another budget version, or maybe another account in the same budget, or simply create a regular payment. We'll demonstrate some of these now and begin by creating a wages and salaries budget. Select the wages and salaries account and then click apply shortcuts in the top ribbon. The new dialog presents us with our shortcut options, including calculation, Consolidate all projects, consolidate all departments, and fixed amount. Let's assume our wages is a fixed amount paid fortnightly. So we select fixed amount and set the properties accordingly. Put in our value, set the frequency, and set a start date, then click apply. You can see that the monthly budgets are generated, including months that might have three payments. We'll now use another shortcut to create a superannuation budget. The goal here is to make it 9% of our wages and salaries budget. Select the superannuation account and click apply shortcuts. This time we'll use the calculation shortcut. Now the business unit by default will be selected on the one you are currently editing. However you can base this on another business unit if required. In this example though we're using the current business unit. Since we are calculating based on our wages budget, we need to select budgets instead of actuals and ensure we have the correct budget version selected. Then define the account we are calculating on, so we need to find our wages account. 
Ensure we select the year that we are currently editing, otherwise we'll be calculating on some other year's budget data. And lastly, set the percentage to 9. Click apply, and great, we've now got our superannuation budget. Lastly, we'll create an account budget based on last year's actuals. Select the account you wish to apply the shortcut to, and click apply shortcut. We are going to use calculation again, only this time leave the source set to actuals and selected account because we want to base this calculation on itself. Ensure last year is selected and I'm going to apply a 3% increase to last year's actuals. Click apply. There we go, we've created a budget that is 103% of last year's actuals on the same account for this business unit. Now there are many more ways to use budget shortcuts, including using the Consolidate All Projects or Departments option, and this shortcut works in a similar way to calculation, except it will consolidate all projects or departments in the source instead of looking at a single business unit. So that brings us to the end of step two, and obviously the next video in this series is step three, but in that video we'll analyze reports. Thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you create or update your budgets in Kelksa, and if you have any further questions on editing budgets or would like some help with some of the other methods for creating budgets, such as the budget factory or importing from Excel, then please feel free to contact Kelksa Customer Support on 1800 733 249 or email helpme at kelksa.com. For sales inquiries, please call 1800 733 149 or email tell me more at Kelksa.